A wet spring and a hot summer has brought us a bumper crop of mosquitoes, and that has health departments on high alert for West Nile virus. We've learned at least two people in Colorado have already contracted the disease. Mosquitoes testing positive for the West Nile have been found in at least seven Colorado counties, including Denver, who found bugs with the virus this week. So the health department, of course, urging everybody to take precautions. Michael Beta reports. Since the early 2000s, when West Nile was discovered here in Colorado, every summer we have to protect ourselves from mosquito bites. And this year, it's no different. Pretty much every year we've been getting positive hits of West Nile in the mosquito population. That includes this year. The Denver Department of Public Health and Environment has found West Nile and mosquitoes collected in the Denver metro area for the first time this summer. According to the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, mosquito numbers have been relatively high throughout the state, and Denver says it's no different here, which has made controlling mosquito populations difficult. In a year like this with all the rains, it just it becomes more challenging, but that's what we're set up to do. They don't spray for adult mosquitoes like some places do. We're looking for larval activity, and when we find enough activity, we apply larvicide. They say that is effective in public areas, but mosquitoes can also breed on private property, so they recommend getting rid of any standing water. Whether it's a rainwater uh, collector, any kind of a container that can hold water, aces, everything. Fountains that aren't working, uh, pools that aren't uh, functional. They also recommend using bug spray with DEET, avoiding the outdoors between dusk and dawn if at all possible, and wearing long sleeves and pants near mosquito-heavy areas like the mountains or gardens. And while you're at it, maybe make some changes to your yard to keep the pests away. Think about ways to, to landscape where you need less water. People over 50 years of age or with weakened immune systems are at the greatest risk of developing a serious illness from West Nile. Symptoms include extreme fatigue, fever, headache, body aches, skin rashes, and swollen lymph nodes. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.